This is a pretty realistic fire that doesn't need simulation time. We start with the default cube, scale the size and go into the shading workspace. Replace the principled BSDF with the principled volume plugged into the volume output. Add a gradient shader set spherical and math node set to multiply connected to density. To see the smoke clearer, multiply the value by some large number. Add texture coordinates set to object and use the mapping node to scale the smoke cloud until it's an egg shape. Now add noise. The noise texture is mixed with the mapping vector using mix RGB. That will reset the coordinates, so switch it to linear light. Change the noise settings until we have smoke. The mix RGB can be used to control the noise's influence. To animate the noise, add a vector math node before the noise and use a driver to animate it. Divide it if it's too fast. Extract the gradient out to a color ramp and stick it into emission strength. Use a second math node set to multiply. This serves as the strength. Modify the color ramp so the exterior is dark and the interior is bright. White is the yellow glowy bit, gray is the plasma red bit, and black is smoke. Duplicate the color ramp and plug it into emission color. Color the inside yellow, the middle orange, and the outside black. Remember, there is also varying brightness, so the orange will appear darker. You won't need to add a light in Cycles, but you will in Eevee. Raise the strength. Keyframe the strength on the first frame and the last. Same value. And then the animation workspace is a noise modifier of strength scaled up to make the light flicker. Add a plane for particles. Create a UV sphere and decrease its geometry and give it an emission material colored orange. Go onto the plane. Set render to object and set the sphere as the object. For particle settings, set the start and end times beyond the animation. Go into the negatives if you have to. Increase scale randomness. Turn off gravity and field weights. As you can see, I made a mistake and the shadows are visible. Go back to the ember and turn off shadows and material settings. The particles are too slow, so increase velocity. And now they zoom up too high, so decrease lifetime. Add some brownies so the particles don't go straight up, and add some randomness to velocity and lifetime. If you want the emitter to be invisible, give it a transparent BDSF and turn on alpha clip. 